Hi guys, what's going on? It's the Digital Tutor here with another step-by-step -step tutorial. In today's video, I'm just going to show you how to change the download location for games in Steam. Um, so this is very handy to do if you're running out of space, for example, on your C drive and you want to switch that to like an external hard drive. So if you do find this helpful, then please leave a like and drop a comment below. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more step-by-step -step tutorials how to's and tips and tricks for everything tech and digital related. So the first thing we're going to want to do is actually open up Steam. Uh, so you can do this if you've got the app downloaded or the web based version. It's absolutely down to personal preference. In today's video I'll be doing this on the actual downloaded app. So you can see I've gone ahead and opened that up and it's actually very easy to do this and what you're going to want to do is actually come to the top left hand corner and what you want to do is click onto Steam up here at the very top. And then you want to come down and click onto Settings. So that's going to load up a window which looks like this. And what you're going to want to do is come to the menu on the left hand side and just go ahead and click on Downloads. And then what you're going to want to do from here is at the very top, it will say Content Libraries. And then it will say Steam Library Folders. All you want to do is go and give that a click. And so you can see at the moment we've only got one uh, Steam folder setup, which is on our local drive, our C drive. Um, but what you can do is add additional download locations. So all you need to do is click onto this plus button, and then you just want to go ahead and choose the new download location. So in my case, I haven't actually got an external hard drive plugged in at the moment. But if you do have one plugged in, then what you want to do is come to the drop down box at the top down here. Or if there's a different location on the C drive that you want to switch to, you can just go ahead into the C drive and go from there. You can set up a new folder called Steam, for example. But if you've got an external hard drive connected and you want to actually switch, so your Steam games get installed onto the hard drive, what you're going to want to do is come to this drop down box up here. Uh, go and give that a click and you'll see the list of available drives. Um, so as I say, I don't have one plugged in, but if you do have one plugged in, you'll see it showing up in this list. So all you would do is go ahead and select the drive and then you would click um, select. And then what would happen, that would create a new download location. Um, obviously it's not gonna let it do it to me. As I say, you do need to make a new folder. Uh, so what you would do if you've got an external hard drive, you would just create a new folder on the external hard drive called something like Steam or Steam Games. And then you select that, hit select. And what that's going to do is add that as a library. Um, and what you can do is you can move existing games across. So you can see I've got all my existing games here. And if there's any I, I want to move across straight away, all I would do is tick the ones I want to move across like so. And then obviously once I've created the, uh, the new folder, that'll be shown up here. So we're just come down and click on to move down here and it will give me the option to move any existing install games across as well as select that as my new download location. So that's how you do it and I hope you did find that helpful. If that did help please leave a like and drop a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you do want to help support the Digital Tutor channel there is a link in the video description down below. If you go and give that a click you'll be able to buy the team here a cup of coffee. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.